Hi, Lonnie Mackley here. I just want to talk to you today about um, some visions that I've had over the years about the end times, uh, the apocalypse, whatever you want to call it that. I, I got um, what they call saved. That basically just means I became a Christian back in 1977. And um, later on, in 1992, I was uh, asleep in my bed. My life, you know, was... You know, just my life, I'd get up, go to work, pretty much the same thing. But I had a power come over me at 5.30 in the morning that woke me up. And later that day, I had a, a fairly direct encounter with the Lord. And He told me some things that were going to be happening in my life. And um, every one of those things have happened since then. But I, He also talked to me about some things about the future uh, with the world. And then after this encounter that I had... Uh, I, ha I began to have a series of dreams and visions and uh, I didn't say much about them at the time because I wasn't um, I was a little reluctant to share it. You have to be careful sometimes what you share with people and you just got to do it the right time the right way and I've kind of sat on some of these things for a while because I felt that there needed to be the right time for it. So I'm just going to share them with you and because of time constraints I'm just going to share with you what I, what I saw, what I dreamed and I'll leave the interpretation up to God and you and to those who have ears, let them hear. So these are the things that I saw. Um, the first dream that I had was one of a skyscraper. It was a very high skyscraper. Uh, I could even see clouds out the windows and people were running up and down these stairwells in a frantic, uh, I guess, t trying to get out or what it was. Some people were running up upstairs, some were running downstairs and I was caught right in the middle of it and getting bumped all over the place. And um, then I looked out the window and um, something, I don't know what it was, but it was like um, when it hit, it was like, it, it seemed like lightning. If you're, I don't know if you've ever been struck in the head so hard that you, it's like seeing lightning, seeing stars. That's what it was like. And then the vision ended. Um, the second vision that I had was I was flying over a great battlefield. And what was remarkable about this battlefield is everything was green. And I could sense in the vision that uh, this was North America. It wasn't like somewhere in the Middle East or anything. And I was flying in the arms of an angel, a very large angel. And he had me uh, cradled, you know, kind of like he would uh, carry somebody, like a baby, I guess. One, ar one of his arms, his right arm was under my knees and his left arm was holding me on the back. But he was dipping down towards this battlefield and it was just so... I couldn't believe it. Like, I've been in the military, and I couldn't believe how fierce this battle was. And he dipped down right at these guns that were going up, and I literally almost jumped out of his arms. It it freaked me out so bad. And that's what I saw. And uh, it, it looked to me like it was a war, a great war, that was happening here in North America and not somewhere else in the world. The third thing I saw was a... Uh, processing center. I saw uh, what looked like um, just a very large process, processing center. It was at night. Uh, there was all there was this long road that went to it. I don't want to say like Auschwitz or something like that, but this was modern. And there was chain link fence and then that Constantina wire all around the top of the fences. Like it was very secure. But there was all these people on this road standing waiting to go into this processing center. And um, and I was with, you know, it's like I was, a cam I had a camera view of everything going on uh, along this road. And I could hear people talking. They were kind of whispering to each other. Some were arguing. There was guards along the road telling them to shut up. And, uh, and then the camera panned down to the end of the road where people were actually going in. And they were being split up into these different, uh, it's almost like customs. They were being split up into these different what looked like um, desks that were all for the same purpose. They would interview these people and um, they would ask them questions and um, one of the questions that they would ask is what faith are you? And um, if you and if you said that you were a Christian or a Jew or something like that they would ask you more questions and then a guard would escort you out of there and some of these people would get up there and they would want to make a deal. I guess they knew somehow they were tipped off about what was going on and they would rat out. They would. I saw a man pointing over to another 
man and his family, I guess that were friends or family, I don't know who they were, but he said these people are Christians. And, um, and he was wanting mercy, he wanted to make a deal with the guy, and the guy did make the deal, and um, I could see in the future that they forced this man into being a spy for Christians, uh, him and his family. That was part of the deal that they made that he had to do later on, and that they just keep sending him into these places where he would pretend, and this guy was just really a shell of a man after that, because he knew he'd betrayed people, and the whole gist of it I got was that uh, you're either going to have to go with this, whatever this government system is that's taken over, or you're going to have to, you know, be faithful to God and possibly face imprisonment, persecution, or, or death later on. Um, the fourth vision that I saw was a couple being taken. This was in the Middle East. Uh, they were part of a big tour group that was going down the road in, um, it looked like some big all-terrain vehicle, like, I don't want to say a Humvee, it was much bigger than that. And, uh, two of them, one of them got sick, a, a husband and wife, the wife got sick and so they had to come back and as they were driving back another uh, jeep or vehicle full of people stopped them and they took them captive and they took them to a place and uh, this place, it was a very strange looking place, it was a building but there was all these like folding tables with books uh, just pile up really high and I got a look at some of the books and what it was was just like Western culture books, all the books we read in uh, the Western culture about our lifestyle and everything else and they split the man and the woman up and I could see what was happening with the man and the guy at the desk spoke English and there were guards there and he just asked the guy uh, a lot of questions about different things and uh, he began to yell at him and certain things to try to get the truth out of him and finally he said, well are you a Christian? And um, the man uh, said, yes, yes, I am. And then he began to ask him more questions about different things and almost to dissuade him, to, to give him a chance to get himself out of it, to say, well, he's not really a Christian. But the guy just said, no, no, I am a Christian. And then the last thing that I saw was him and his wife being imprisoned. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know if this really happened or what this was, but uh, that's what I saw. Um, the fifth thing that I saw was I, I was riding in it, and this was very, very vivid. I was riding in a train, and uh, this train was packed full of people, uh, wall to wall, and we were all going to get out of a country. It's like we were going for refuge, and um, we were so packed in there, we could barely breathe, and uh, my legs were on this old guy. I had them folded up, but they were on this old guy that was barely standing up, he looked very sick, he had a painter's cap on that had faded um, uh, Canadian flags or Canadian leaves on them and you could tell he was trying to get to another country but he looked very weak and I felt sorry for him so I pulled my legs in even more to give him more room and he just fell over and died and it just broke my heart to see it and then my vision went back to another cart in the back and there was a family back there and some guards came in and uh, they were going to interrogate this family and the husband could see it so the husband jumped up before they could get to the wife and they began to ask him all these questions and they took the man to the front of a car to a private car and then all of a sudden I became the man and they began to scream at him everybody was screaming at him like in a frenzy and it was very scary and all of a sudden one of the people put a gun to my head and just pulled the trigger and they had asked this guy I guess if he was a Christian and same thing, same kind of theme, and, but I could literally feel the crack of the bullet on my head. So those are the things I've seen. I just want to encourage you uh, that the safe place to be in the future is to be with God and not to sell out. Don't take any marks on your forehead, or right hand for the government system, whatever it ends up being. And just pray, ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart, to forgive you of your sin, and to give your life to God today. So bless you, my friend. I hope some of these things have helped you. I didn't have time to give what I thought the interpretations were, but may God give you the interpretations for what I've seen, and may God give you strength. Take hope in these last days. And there's a group called Revival Prophetic Wilderness. If you type Lonnie Mackley into the internet, you'll find it if you need uh, further support or help. Okay? Bless you, my friend. Bye-bye.